Hello, friends. This is the first video I can remember that is inspired by Instagram. So, there will indeed be mushrooms here, and there will indeed be a Tesla, a heavily damaged Tesla. I'm driving it right now. It's in perfect condition, of course. Let's go over the timeline from the very beginning. Look at this beauty that arrived. Most of you might find such a car intimidating. I used to be timid until I realized that the most important thing in a Tesla is not to damage the structural part of the body. Here, it's called the frame. And in this car, nothing is damaged. So all we need to do is take out the damaged parts, throw them away, and install new parts. Here, all the plastic and metal attachments are simply replaced. These frame rail extensions are removable replaced. Unfortunately, our subframe got damaged as well, so we will replace it. That's all. Here's how our car looks inside after the impact. This is how it looks. Airbag 1, airbag 2. Everything works. It smells nicely of talcum. Everything is good. But the display is not working because the body control module shut down. We have not installed the pyrotechnic actuator yet, nor have we turned on the display. I won't see it, but we did find something new in the interior. First, we found a flash drive, and soon you will see how the accident happened. But we also found the reason why this accident occurred. Look, here are two jars. Here's one and here's the other. Carefully, just like that. I think they are from different manufacturers. The main thing is that they serve the same function. Look, two tablets are... You are satisfied. For tablets mean dancing trees, and six tablets mean we are starting cosmic surfing. So these are mushroom tablets, friends. See here? This is what the tablet looks like. Mushroom. She subtly hints that these are some kind of mushrooms. And this was bought. Here we have something similar. Here, the composition is more serious, as I understand it. This is the first time I've seen something like this. Mushrooms in a car with almost 400 horsepower on the rear axle. What could go wrong? Let's find out. It's great that we still have the flash drive with the recording of how the accident happened. Fortunately, it contains important details. And now about the exterior. Many of you wrote that it is beyond repair, that it is already a completely wrecked car. And I actually want to show you that notice. Nothing was welded anywhere here. Everything remains as it was. Here we have the frame rails. They are not damaged, and the only thing that was damaged were the extensions. See, this original one is still here, and this one has already been replaced. New TV radiator holder, two under bumper strips, new steering rack, and more. And the main thing that got damaged was a significant dent in the subframe. Since we have many subframes, we replaced it with a new one. Next, we install the radiators, front trunk, shields, and many plastic parts. The main point is that when people talk about a front-end collision, for some reason they only consider the bumper and the hood, and that's it. A large part of the budget is spent on these various plastic parts, wires, and so on. It is already in the paint shop. Some filler materials have already been applied, already. Now they are preparing the car for painting. Everything is in place. The hood is there. The fenders. Everything is here. You see, everything is very neat and just as it should be on a whole, normal car. Except for the color, of course. Let me remind you what it looked like before. Remember? Well, the mushroom picker's Tesla is ready. So how do you like the result? As promised in the rays of the sunset. Beautiful warm Californian sky, indeed. The car is back on public roads. And let's in general, you can see that it's smooth. And let me open the hood now. Let's go over the details. Bumper, parking sensors, fender under the hood. And here is absolutely everything that it originally had. 
This car is currently a temporary replacement car. Since we opened the repair center, we provide replacement cars for clients. See, here's one of the cars leaving for clients who have damaged their car. So he crashes his car, gets a replacement car from us and continues to drive. So a test drive of what we got, but all the airbags are in place. Everything is clean, neat. Everything is in place. It smells nice. It's nice that Elon rewarded us with full autopilot. This is a temporary promotion. It's for a month. But we definitely got it and we'll check how our full autopilot works. It works great indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Here it carefully monitors so that no one gets distracted. You can turn everything like this. Like this. Let's go. It's really very nervous because it sees this a little bit more, a bit more. In general, the camera is watching me. It sees that I'm not looking at the road. So it needs to signal. And one more warning and it will take everything away. Take everything away. Also an update came. Let's others pass. I don't know if we will let the Dodge pass or not. We won't let the Dodge pass because I remind you, we have merch. Your Tesla will not let anyone unworthy pass. Every time I drive the new 2022 Model 3 standard, I catch myself thinking how absolutely sufficient everything is here. It's just so incredibly sufficient and really well designed. Absolutely everything, including range and mileage, acceleration, options, heaters. And we also filmed a detailed review of this car. And you can watch it. The link appeared on your right. Well, we will say goodbye to you. I think this story is not only cute and amazing, but also instructive. Lie soberly, subscribe to the channel, buy a Tesla, get service, and we will see you. Bye.